right. Hello. Instagram? Yes. Hello. Facebook slash hopefully YouTube soon too. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to, to tonight's workout on quarantine fitness class. Uh, so um, I'm going to give everyone a second to log on. We still have about a minute or so before we get going. Um, so I'm just going to talk. I'm going to tell you what's up. Today, we had class this morning. We had a class tonight over the weekend, like tomorrow, which is Saturday. We finally made it. Hooray. Um, we made it through a week of quarantine. But tomorrow, we are only going to have one class, um, and it's going to be in the morning. Now, Sunday, I'm not sure if I'm going to actually have a class because I need to let my body recover, but one of two things will happen. Either my sister, Brianne, will host the class um, from where she is in D.C., or all of my classes from the past week will be on YouTube for you to use and you to utilize if you want to take a class that you haven't already taken. All right, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining me tonight. We are going to have a more rest-based workout versus a time-based workout. All of our workouts so far have been for time. Today we're changing it up. We're going to do some tricky stuff, make it sort of a ladder. So whew, let's get ready. Let's get started. All right, so we're going to just start off. Warming up. Warm up is staying the same as always, starting off with a nice gentle jog right at the top here. Good. Inhaling through your nose. Exhaling through your mouth. Good. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Good. Shake out those fingers. Shake out those wrists. Good. Give your shoulders a few rolls back when I needed that off crack. <laughs> and a few rolls forward. It was just sitting for a very, very long time. Awesome. So I need to shake out some of that residual tension for sure. Give your head a little roll, little roll the other way. Awesome, and once you have shaken out some of that residual tension, get back into that jog. Good, elbows bent at that 90 degree angle, just falling behind you, falling towards the back of your room. But from here, we're going to take those high knees. So start to pick those knees up all the way up to hip height. Again, remember, you always have the option to march it out if you so need. But those knees got to come all the way up to hip height every single time. Good. Keep that breath moving. Keep going. Now the next thing you're going to do, you're going to burn it out. That means you're going to run as fast as you can, as hard as you can for 10 seconds. Now not my count. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, burn it out. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, faster, six, five, four, three, two, one. Jumping jacks out and in. Good. Awesome. Keep breathing. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Now remember your options here. You're tapping out, squeezing in. Tap it out, squeeze it in. Or if you have range of motion restrictions in your shoulders, bring those uh, fingers down to your shoulders here. Good. Squeeze those inner thighs together every single time you bring your legs together. Keep that tension alive and well through your arms as you reach up and pull something down out of the sky. Good. Let's take those double jacks out for two and for two. Good. Keep that core tight. Good. Keep those glutes engaged. We have four, three, two, last one. Awesome. Shake it out. Step it side to side. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Let that hurt. It's starting to settle a bit right here. Now you're going to send your palm forward. Pull those fingers back towards your torso. Good. Stretch out your fingers. Stretch out your wrists. Nice. Keep breathing. Inhaling through your nose. Exhaling through your mouth. Awesome. We're going to take it to the other side. Same stretch here. Good. Let those shoulders relax, release just a little bit. Awesome. Let's go back to that first hand. Palm is facing towards your body here. Now we are moving a little faster through this warm up because there's tons of work to come in the workout today. Good. Let's go ahead and take it to the other side which I will explain in just a second. So don't you worry. You have three, two, one. Shake out those fingers. Shake out those wrists. Give those wrists a little roll open. 
a little roll in. Awesome. We're going to take some monster kicks. So opposite fingers, reach towards the opposite toe here. Let's control it. We have one count to come up. Three, two, one. The lower back down. Awesome. So drive the heel of your standing leg down, down, down into the floor as you work through this. Good. I almost fell off balance there. Good. Utilize that core to keep you in balance. Find that C curve in your core as you reach forward. Now we're just getting that dynamic stretch in your hamstrings here and then firing up those stabilizers, trying to find that control. Good. Exhale. Good. Bring it down. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on that control lower down. Let's do two more. Good. Last one. Bring it up. Down, down, down. Awesome. Zip those legs together. Squeeze them tight. You're going to squeeze your glutes. We're taking those to your hop side to side. Trying to make this small and quick. Small and quick. Awesome, awesome. If you need an option, you're just tapping side to side. You got it. Awesome. Let's switch directions. We're moving forward and back here. Small and quick. Trying to make it smaller. Trying to make it faster. If you need an option, you're just tapping. Good. Don't let any air come between those legs. We're going to take it to a twist in three, two, one. Twist it out. Good. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. You need to tap it. Go ahead and do so. Good. Even faster. All right. Even faster. We're almost there. We have three, two, one. Shuffle those feet. Inhale up through your nose. Exhale. Bring it down. Good. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Let's take it into a march. Inhale, bring those arms up overhead. Exhale, bring them down. Once more with feeling. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale through your mouth. Come down. Good. Shake it out. Awesome work. That is your warm up. So, I hope you all have a water bottle handy because you need it not only because you should be drinking water as you work out and you're sweating up a storm, but we're also going to utilize it for some of our exercises today as a weight, as a form of resistance. So it's cool. You can carry your water bottle pretty much with you the whole workout. And the more water you drink, the lighter that weight will be. So I mean, like, I don't know if that's what you're looking for, but don't go around with an empty water bottle. If it's empty, I want you to fill it up. So how today is going to work is I am going to give you a move. All right, we are going to perform that move one round through. I'm going to give you an amount of reps. We're going to do it for that many reps. Then we are going to add a new move in. So let's think we have moves one and two. All right, so I'll add move two into the equation. We'll then do moves one and two. I'll add a move three. We'll do moves one, two, three. And I'll let you know the reps are increasing by one with every exercise today, all right? So your break will be as I explain to you what the next move is. We are going to start today with some catchers, all right? So some of you did catchers earlier in the week, um, but just a refresher, a catcher is essentially the bottom of a burpee. So you're starting this one off in a high plank position. Your palms are right underneath your shoulders. From here, you're going to hop forward. Your feet are coming, I'll give you a different view. Your feet are coming wider than your hands here. Your weight is heavy in your heels. So make sure you're not doing any of this. You want to really be sitting into it. From here, you'll lift your palms up, lift your chest up like you're a catcher in a baseball game, all right? Before you bring those palms back down and hop it back into that high plank shape. Now, you're like, that's a little too aggressive for me. Do you have an option? Of course I do. You can just walk it forward. So you'll walk and set those feet forward, really drive those heels down, press those knees out, lift that chest up, and you'll bring your palms back down, and you'll step it back into your high plank shape, all right? So that's what we're starting with. We're doing four reps there. Four reps, and then you get a break. This first uh, couple rounds are going to be on the easier side. It'll get harder as we go through. Ready? Let's get going. Four catchers in three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four. That is it. How nice. All right. So that's our men. Amazing. So round two, we're going to add a new move into the mix. I might have to take off my glasses. No contacts for me today, but uh, 
They might not stay on their face as we keep doing that. So round two, we're adding another rep to our move. So we're going to do five reps this time of inchworms, all right? So let me show you what an inchworm is. You're going to start this one standing tall, weight heavy in your heels. You're going to hinge in half, just like you're being cut in half like a tree. You're going to try to keep those legs straight, trying to fall straight down from here. You're going to take one, two, three, four walks into your high plank position, and then we're going to take it back to the top, really leading with those hips, trying to get those heels driving down as soon as possible before you stand it up, all right? So round two, four catchers and five inchworms. Let's get after it. Glasses are gone. Let's crush it, team, in three, two, one. High plank. We have one, two, three, four. Awesome. Now we're coming into those inchworms from here. All right, we're hinging in half. Option to bend those knees if you don't have the range of motion to kind of touch the floor from here. We're walking out. Four counts to walk out. Hit that high plank. Four counts to lift those hips up and bring it to the top. That's one rep, all right? These we're not doing too terribly fast. Good. That's two. Really press those hips forward when you get to the top. You should feel like you're at the top of a squat. Make sure you're freezing for a moment in this high plank position. Good. That's three. You would drive those heels down. That's four. One more rep here. Hinge it. Walk it. Oh, that's five. Five reps. Round two. Crush. Amazing. High five. High five. High fives all around. Peter's in the workhouse. We Airbnb. High five, Peter. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, next, we're going to add a new move. All right. Six reps this time. And we're just doing a classic and oldie but a goodie. We are going to do some push-ups. All right. So palms are coming down right underneath your shoulders. All these first few moves are out of plank. We're going to come down, bring that chest to touch the floor very gently. Elbows are at that 45 degree angle. Now from here, you're just pressing straight up to the top. So down and up. Make sure those palms stay right under your shoulders. If you need an option, you can drop on down to those knees, tuck those hips under, keep that core engaged. Straight line from your knees to the crown of your head here. You'll bring it down. You'll press it up, all right? So we have four catchers, five inchworms, six push-ups. Let's crush around three. It's getting a little longer here. In three, two, one. We're in that high plank. Let's top it. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Bring it to the top. We're going to inchworm. In three, two, one. Hinge it forward. Good. Halfway through the first one. Last one. Walk, 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 walk. One, two, three, four. That's two. Hinge it. Walk. Two, three, four. High plank hold. Two, three, four. That's three. Walk. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and that's four. One more here. One, two, three, four, and that's five. Now let's walk it out to that high plank. We got some push-ups. You can take these on your knees or toes. Six reps here in three, two, one. We're coming down. Two, three, four, Five, six. Let's hit that child's foot. Good day. Round three. Crush. Amazing. How's it going so far? Let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. You can always type in to the little chat box. Cool. We good. We good. We good. Amazing. Incredible. All right. So next move we are adding is a water bottle crunch. All right. So what does that mean? We're grabbing that water bottle. I hope it's heavy. I hope it's full. We're going to lay down on our backs here. We're going to lock those arms straight out overhead. 
You're going to keep those feet planted flat on the floor. All right, from here, don't let those elbows bend. Don't let them bend. We're going to keep our arms elevated here. Keep your shoulders rolled back and down. We're going to crunch up. So a crunch means that we're just lifting your head, neck, and shoulders off the floor. And then lowering down. Lift it up. Lower down, all right? Keep that apple distance between your chin and chest as you work through. This is just adding a little bit of resistance to your classic crunch, and your arms have to stay locked out, all right? So seven reps here. One, two, all right? That is how you are working. If that uh, water bottle is a little too aggressive for you, that's okay. Go ahead and just don't do it with a water bottle, all right? That will change your motion up there. We'll get seven reps there, but of course, we're going to start back at the top with those catchers. Let's bring it on down to the ground. High plank in three, two, one. Let's catch that baseball. One, two, three, four. Amazing. We're taking those hinge Five reps here. Here we go. We're hinging. We're walking out. Three, four, up, two, three, four. Good. One. Out. Up. Nuts. Two. Great. Drive those heels down. That's three. That's four. That is five. All right, now we're going into our six push-ups. Let's crush it. Bring it on down to the ground. Palms right underneath your shoulders. High plank position. Option to drop to your knees in three, two, one. Six reps. Good. As you press up, think about pressing the floor away from you. Six reps there. Amazing, beautiful. Grab that water bottle once you complete those six reps. We're going to lay it down on the ground. We're going to take these crunches. Option to bring those feet up if you want to make this a little more aggressive. Here we go. In three, two, one. Seven reps. Head, neck, and shoulders come up. You lower down. Two, three, four, five. Six. Exhale as you come up. Seven. Inhale, lower down. Amazing. Great work. I hope everyone's doing well. I can't see, but I can in a second when I put my glasses back on. Cool, cool. I am sweaty. Cool. I'm going to take a quick sip of water, then I'll tell you what your new move is. All right, so hopefully you get the pattern by now. We're just always adding new movements to the mix. Peter's got it. He's got the pattern. In case you don't know who Peter is, Peter is my assistant. No, I'm kidding. He's my husband. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see how he would fun. All right. So, next move. We're taking actually eight total reps, four on each arm. We're going to utilize that water bottle again. So, grab that water bottle. We're going to get some tricep work on the backs of those arms, getting those kickbacks. So we're going to hinge forward. Try to bring that chest parallel to the floor. You can have a soft bend in your knees here. Bring one elbow, your working arms elbow, right next to your rib cage. All right? So if you look at me from the side, it's squeezed real tight here. From here, you're going to extend that arm long. If you want a little extra squeeze, flip that palm up at the top. Take that twist. So you'll flip it and squeeze it in. If that flip is a little too much for you, don't do it, all right? We're going to take this at a tempo as well. So that's your motion. Now your tempo is going to be one count to come up. We're going to take three, two, one to come back down. One count to come up, really get that squeeze. Three counts to lower down, all right? Eight total reps, four on each arm. Now everything that comes before, we've already done. So let's set up. We're getting after those catchers. Here we go. Ooh, I broke it down. All right, it's fine, whatever. I just want to get more. Here we go. In three, two, one. High plank. Catch it. One, two, 
three, four. Beautiful. Bring it up. We're going to take our inchworms here. Cool. So we're going to hinge from our hips. We're going to walk it out. We have one, three, four. Good. Bring it back. One, two, three, four. To the top. Drive through your heels. Awesome. Hinging down. We're taking one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's two reps. Hinge it over. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's three reps. I wish we had one of those little counters on the screen so they could count my reps for me. Like a real fitness instructor video. That's four. <laughs> Good. One more rep here. Come on up, drive those heels down. That's five. Six push-ups. Let's crush it. Palms under those shoulders. You can put those knees down if you need. In three, two, one, let's go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Amazing. Let's grab those water bottles. Peter, you want a water bottle? There we go. <laughs> cool. We're going to take these water bottle crunches, lock those arms up overhead. Option to bring those feet to the ceiling if possible. Seven reps in three, two, one. Let's go. Up, lower down. Exhale up, lower down. That's two. Up, lower down. Three, up, lower it down. That's four. Lower it down. Five, lower it down. Six, one more. Seven, amazing, let's stand it up. We're gonna take those tricep feet back. Remember, four reps one arm, four on the other. Don't care which arm comes first. I'm gonna start with my right side. Hinge it forward, pull that elbow, lock it into your side. In three, two, one, let's go. We have one count to come up. Three, two, one, the lower down, that's one rep. One count up. Three, two, one, the lower down, that's two. Up, three, two, one, that's three, up, three, two, one, that's four. Let's go to the other side. We have one, down, two, three, two, down, two, three, you got it, three, down, two, three, four, down, two, three, and the array. Cool. So it's not that many reps at once, but they quickly add up. Am I right? I'm sweaty. I'm sweaty. I should do the math to let you know how many reps of everything you've done by the end of the workout. So, of course, we have a couple more moves to add. Let's see. We have one, two, three, four total new moves to add in before we get to do all of this together as one giant all right, not that you're not working out now, but we might go through a couple rounds of the whole thing at the end. I don't know, maybe. All right, so now we're going to grab that water bottle again. We're going to take an ISO squat hold, and we're going to hold that water bottle horizontally, just like you did when you were doing those water bottle crunches. All right, so we're going to widen our stance here. We're going to come into uh, more of like a plie squat, like a sumo squat, but with those hips really, really tucked under, stacked under those shoulders, that torso totally tall. Those knees turning out here. You're keeping those hips tucked, keeping that back flat here as you take this reach. Keep those shoulders centered back. We're going to lift up. Three counts to come up. Three, two, one. Lower down. Three, two, one to come up. Three, two, one to lower down. All right, that is your new move. Slow and controlled on the way up, keeping that squeeze between your shoulder blades. Slow and control all the way down. We'll get nine reps there. All right, let's do it. Draw the top, taking those catch hips. Here we go. Hit that high plank. We're just going for it. In three, two, one. Let's crunch. One, two, three, four. Oh my gosh, it makes me feel so powerful. Let's hit those inchworms. We're hinging. We're walking. One, two, three, four. Hit that high plank. Up. Two, three, four, bring it up to the top. That's one. Good. And that's two. And 
And that's three. Keep those glutes squeezing. Max four. We have one more. That is five. All right, let's hit six push ups. Bring it down. We're going in three, two, one. Let's crush. One, two, three. I'm like a boot camp sergeant, drill sergeant. Five, six, soldier. Good. That water bottle. Don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at me. We're taking these water bottle crunches in three, two, one. Let's go. Seven reps. Good. Three, four. Keep that lower back pressed down into the ground here. Five, six, seven. Awesome. Bring it on up. Tricep kickbacks with this water bottle. Hinge it in three, two, one. Kick it back. Give one. Down, two, three. Two. Down, two, three. Three. Down, two, three. Four. Down, two, three. Flip it over. We're going up. Down, two, three. Two. Down, two, three. Down, two, three, four. Down, two, three. Turn those feet out. You're going to roll those shoulders back and down. Squeeze them together. Hit that squat. Tuck those hips under. We're taking this raise. Nine reps here. We have up, two, three. Down, two, three. Two, two, three. Two, two, three. <laughs> three. Two, three, good. We have four. Good, only coming to chest tight here. We have five. Good, keep everything tucked. Stay low in that squat. Still a little lower. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, good, stand it up, shake out those legs, Whew. shake out those arms if you need, awesome, 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 all right, hello, hello, all right, we're doing great, everyone's looking great and awesome, I'm sure, I can't see you through the phone, yet. But I'm sure if that technology exists, that's like a massive Zoom call, right? It's not about that. All right, next, the new move we are adding into our pattern this time is going to be this renegade row. All right, we're going to utilize this water bottle. We're going to take 10 total reps. So it's going to be a five on one arm and five on the other. We're going to come down to a plank hold here. Now, as you're in this plank hold, you're going to be utilizing this water bottle, of course, in just a second as a weight if you want the resistance, but it is not necessary. However, your palms are right under your shoulders. Make sure your feet or your knees are a little wider than hip distance here. That's to minimize that shake and weight through those hips. We do not want that twisting, right? You're going to bring that water bottle down. You're taking one, two, Three, four, five on one side, five on the other, pulling that elbow straight past your rib cage up towards the ceiling, all right? While wow. holding on to that plank. You can take it on your toes, you can take it on your knees. I don't care, it's up to you, all right? This is your 10 rep round. Let's start with those catchers, team. Back to the top, four catchers. In three, two, one, high plank. We're going up. Two, three, four. Good, beautiful. Inchworms, five inchworms in three, two, one. Let's go. Hinge it down. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. That's one. Good. And that's two. Now remember as you work through these, 
Your goal is to keep your legs as straight as possible. Next three. Was that three, Peter? Yeah. We're going with it. If it wasn't wrong, I will. And that's four. We have one more rep. That is five. Five. Not ten. Five. All right, bring it on down. We're taking six push ups. Knees or toes in three, two, one. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. Grab that water bottle. We got the seven water bottle crunches. Now, remember, the slide option is to keep those feet on the ground. You can bring those feet up if you're feeling it. In three, two, one. Let's go. We have seven. One, two, six, five. Four, three, two, one, and we are taking it up to the top. Eight tricep kickbacks with that water bottle. Hinge it forward. Three, two, lock that elbow in. We're going up. Two, down. Two, three. Think about yourself as kind of being like a puppet here. Four, uh, like a marionette. There's a, a screw there. We're doing it on the other side. Up, down, two, three, two, three, four. Beautiful. Grab that water bottle. Widen that stance. We're coming down. I'll give you a front view this time in three, two, one. Keep those shoulders back. Nine reps here. Down, three. We have two, two, three. Amazing. Three. Good. We have four. Five. Get out of it. We have six. Get a little lower. A little bit lower now. Seven. Keep it moving, team. We have eight. Down, two, three. We have nine. Awesome. We're going to hit that high plank. Renegade rope. Five on each side. You can be on your knees or toes, but wide in that stance. In three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Other side, going up. Two, send that elbow to the ceiling. That water bottle to your armpit. Five, beautiful, amazing, incredible, magical. High five, high five. All right, I think we only have two more few moves to add into the mix, but I'll let you know maybe what I can see, which is now. Yeah, two more new moves to add to the mix, all right? So, right here, we're going to do a sumo squat half raise, all right? So, we're coming back into that same wide squat. I actually want this out of a clean squat. So, think about that same wide squat that you held on for for that high raise. This time, we're coming on down here, all right? Getting 11 reps. Now, you can take it to 12 reps if you need the option. So what are we doing? We're going to roll up into a forced arch, sending those heels up to the ceiling, keeping those knees out, and lower it down, all right? Trying to do it with both heels. That's your full option. Now, if you need to take uh, an option from that, you're going to take one heel up at a time and just do 12 total reps instead of getting an uneven amount on each side. So each time you lift that heel up, it'll count as one rep. Cool? Amazing? Let's crush it. We do this. We add one more move. We do it all together, and it will be a party. All right? Starting from those catchers. Hey, Peter, can I have my drinking water bottle? Yeah. Thank you. My assistant, everyone. You won't come on camera. Yay. He is my 
heart system, right? Mm -hmm. He helps my heart beat. That's gross. Yeah, that lesson to me. Here we go. Here we go. One, let's catch. One, two, three, four. Amazing. Bring it up. Inchworms. We're just rocking and rolling, team. Five reps. That's one. Sweat in the eye. Sweat in the eye. Two. Yes, they do have a separate drinking water bottle and a weight waffle cup. Because I want my weights to be heavy. I'm trying to get swole. Right here, it's mm -hmm. why. Here's my live studio audience. That is five, six push ups. Bring it on down in three, two, one, let's go. Three, four, five, six. Grab that water bottle. Seven crunches. Three, two, one. Let's go. Drive that lower back down. Four, five, six, seven. Amazing. Eight reps of these tricep kickbacks. Good. Hinge it forward. Squeeze that elbow in. We're taking it up. Down. Two. Three. Two. We have three. Four. Other side. No way up. Two. Three. Four. I need a skinnier water bottle. My hand's too small. We're going to take knee squat reaches. We have nine reps. Sit low, chest open. Up, two, three, down, two, three, two, two, three, down, two, three, three, two, three. Good work, you got it. I wonder if my neighbors can hear me. Just get rid of me and do it. No one should be sleeping now. I mean, like, whatever. I was asleep around this time yesterday. I think this is seven, two, three, or six. I'm going to say it's six. Now this is seven. Sit lower. Drive through those heels more. Eight. Good. Nine. Awesome. We're taking those renegade rows. Bring it on down. Why not stance on those knees or toes? Where you got five, four, three, two, don't twist. One, other side. We have five, four, three, two, one, and let's bring it up. We're taking those heel lifts, 11 reps. Remember, 12 if you're doing one at a time. Sit it low. Sit it tall. Tap those hips. We're lifting up. Lower down. Two. Three. Feeling those calves start to burn. Four. Finding that balance. Five. Good. Really get onto the ball of your feet. Six. Seven. Sit low. Eight. Nine. Ten. One more. Eleven. Cool. Great. Swell. One new move. All right. Oh, and looking at the time, I think this last round is going to be our grand finale. All right. So, we have some swimmers. We have 12 reps of swimmers. All right. So, what is a swimmer? You get to lay down on the floor. We're getting that work in your back. It's like your back is doing a crunch. You're going to extend those arms long, extend those legs long. Keep that nose facing towards the floor. From here, you're squeezing your low back. And you're going to lift opposite arm, opposite leg up. That's one, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Just like you're swimming. 
Your legs are doing that flutter kick thing. Your arms are doing those flutter arms. And you're always working opposite side at a time. Now, if you need an option, you can leave that one arm, one leg down, lift it up, lower, lift it up, and lower. Let's go crazy, everyone. This is our last time through every single move we have done so far. All right, after this, you get to stretch. So get, take a sip of water, wipe that sweat from your brow. Like me, I'm standing on this thing. Sweat in my eye. Let's get this music still going. It likes to pause once every class. Hydration Nation. We're doing good stuff here. Good work. Now, I'm going to let you know this last round is the big round. We are going to fly. We are going to go here. We are going to go crazy. Right, Peter? Yeah. Yeah, and Peter is right here cheering us all on. He is the live studio audience. Are you even ready, Peter? So ready. Are you ready at home in quarantine? Let's crush. Mold, mold and stuff. No. Let's crush it in three, two, one. Let's take those catchers. One, two, three, four. Fly and swarms. We're coming next. Walk. Up. That's one. Now, I said we're not adding any new moves on the other side of this, but we are going to do one quick thing on the other side before we stretch. That's three. Oh, halfway through three. That's three. That's four. One more. That is five. We're taking those five or six push ups down on the ground. Two, one, fly. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Flip it on over. Grab that bottle. Grab that weight. If you haven't taken that progression with those feet up, let's try it here. Seven reps. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. So bring it on up. We got those eight kickbacks with those triceps. So I'll be twisting this time. Come on down. Inch it forward. Bring it up. We got one. Down. Two. Three. Two. That three. Four. Good, other side, we have five. We have six. Keep that elbow squeezing in. Seven. My hand's getting slippery. Eight. Amazing. Squat and lift, squat and lift. Open your crown, turn those toes out, weight in your heels. We're going up. Nine reps. Let's keep this one slow. Two, time under tension. How are we doing, Peter? We're great. We're doing great, Peter said. Do you have four? Five. Yes, six. Get a little lower. Three, three, three. Seven. Eight. Good. One more up. We have nine. Good. We're taking those renegade rows. Bring it down. Utilizing that water bottle. Three, two, one. We're pulling up. Two, three. Keep those hips squared. Four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Bring it up. We're taking those calf raises. Let's sit into that squat. Turn those toes out. Wait. Come in into the balls of your feet. Bring it down. We're lifting up. Two. Three. Feel those knees pressing out. Feel that squeeze at the base of your glutes. Four. Feel that burning your calves. Five. Keep pulling tall. Six. 
six, seven, eight. If you're taking this one heel at a time, remember you're doing one extra rep. We have 11. Awesome. Let's bring it down to the floor. We're doing those swimmers. Good. This is it for this crazy ladder. Bring it up. We are kicking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh, buddy. Boom. Chocolate. Hit that child's pose. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Then bring it on up. That was wonderful. That was swell. So proud. Amazing. We are going to finish off this workout with one thing. We're going to take a 60 second plank hold. Now we've been doing planks all class. You were doing your planks and your catchers and your renegade rows and your push ups and your inchworms. Right, this time now we're just gonna hold it. We're just gonna hold it. All right, so 60 seconds of a plank hold. And again, I'll talk about that form. Your palms are underneath your shoulders, whichever option you choose. You can take those knees along, pressing those hips forward, tucking your tailbone under. All right, keeping a straight line here to the side of your head. You can also take this up onto your toes, holding from here. Straight line from your crown of your head to your heels. Feel that squeeze in your glutes. Keep those hips tucked forward. Keep the arches out of those backs. Out of those backs. You don't have multiple backs. Keep the arch out of your back. All right, here we go. 60 seconds of a plank hold. You can take it on your palms if you need to take it on your forearms. Just make sure those palms are open and down. Those elbows are under your shoulders. All right, let's fly team in three, two, one. Let's go. Now, if you can see your feet right now, uh-uh. Lift that head up. Extend that gaze about a foot or two on the floor in front of you. Good. As soon as I look at my feet, my back rounds, my shoulders round. I got distracted by this free, uncopyrighted YouTube cover of um, Baby One More Time. Leave it to Brittany. Always distract me because she is queen. All right, keep moving, keep going. Keep breathing, inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. In 20 seconds, we get to stretch. Good. Good. Make that back a little more broad. Tuck those hips just a little bit more. Squeeze those glutes. We have three, two, one, and rest. Amazing work, everyone. Good job, good job. High five, high five. Thank you for being here today. And now we will stretch and I will send you on your way. All right, so Peter, do you wanna stretch? Mm -hmm. Okay, you wanna stretch on camera? No. no, he said no, but he's stretching nonetheless. Turn those toes out. We're gonna bend those knees, inhale through your nose to come up. Take it back. Exhale to come down. Good, inhale it up. Good, bring it down. Peter, what is this playlist that we're listening to? He picked the free, uncopulated YouTube songs today. We're gonna see this one more time. Bring it up. Inhale, exhale. Shake those arms on out. Awesome. From here, we're gonna stretch out those glutes. So, sit down on the floor. Okay, my glutes are sore from yesterday. I don't know about you. Go ahead. We're going to take this um, seated um, figure four stretch. All right, so cross your ankle over the base of your thigh. Bring that other knee up to your chest. Now, if this stretches you, hang out here. This is a nice stretch because I'll give you a side view. The closer my knee is into my chest, the more of a stretch I'm getting. The deeper that stretch will be. Good. Keep your shoulders pressed down away from your ears. Keep pressing into your palms here. Good. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Really keep that right knee pressing open. You have three, two, one. We'll take it to the other side. Good. So, excellent work, everybody. Tomorrow, um, we're going to have one class. It's going to be in the morning, I'm thinking. I kind of want to make it at 11 tomorrow. What do you think, Peter? 
Does that work? Perfect. We're going to do it probably earlier than 11 tomorrow. See, Peter and I are in a pickle. Go ahead, extend one leg along. We're going to bring that other foot into your inner thigh. And we're going to take this hurdler stretch, right? So go ahead, square off to that leg. We're reaching up and over. Nose coming to your knee, chest coming to your thigh. If you want to add a little more stretch in here, you can take that other leg back. Take it like a stag almost. Um, so yeah, Peter and I live in an Airbnb right now. And we thought we found an apartment before this corona craziness happened. Um, but apparently the management company is not processing new applications because of the pandemic. So it wasn't because we weren't qualified, because we were. Let's take it to the other side and do it over here. So kind of sucks. So we have to find a new apartment to move into in a week. So we do go outside to look at apartments and we have like packs of wipes and gloves and it's so very fun because we're not trying to get sick out here. Dang. That awesome. Let's bring those the bottoms of your feet together. Um, so yeah, send us a little uh, good energy that we find an apartment that they'll let us move into. We thought we found another one, but uh, a, a similar sort of pandemic situation happened. Yeah, yeah, good. Let's cross one arm over, uh, grabbing above or below that elbow here. So we just want somewhere to live as we have to live inside now, especially. Let's take it to the other side. This Airbnb is very beautiful. We like it a lot, but um, we just gotta live somewhere. We moved like at the most insane time. Let's bring it up to the top. Good. Give the shoulders a few rolls back. Good. And a few rolls forward. Good. Inhale through your nose. Bring those shoulders up to your ears. And then exhale. Let them fall down. We're gonna do that two more times. Inhale it up. Exhale. Drop those shoulders. One more. Inhale it up. Exhale, drop them down. Awesome. Give that head a little roll. Good. I'll roll to the other side. Shake it out. You are done. Amazing. Someone said something to me. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Yeah, Nicolin, I will I will share it. It will definitely be on my story and I'll also send you a message, girl. All right. Have an amazing night, everyone. Thank you so much for coming and working out. Again, these workouts will be on Instagram for 24 hours, or this workout will be on Instagram for 24 hours. It will be on Facebook forever. And then it will also be on YouTube. All right, everything I'm compiling into a YouTube channel, not as we speak, but like right now. All right, so I'll post links everywhere so you can access all the classes that I've done for the past week. I think it's like one, two, three, nine, ten. No, ten, because we've been doing this for five days, right? Yeah. 10 workouts, 10 total workouts you can access over the weekend. Over the weekend, I'm only doing one class. Brianne might do another class, or I might just release all the YouTube videos to you guys that day. All right. Thank you. Love you. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.